Um. So if you're is any okay, raise show of hands in my chat. Are any of you still playing um, Pokemon Go? Even I, at, at its heyday, I remember. I, I think when Pens when um, Pokemon Go came out, it was like during the Trump election, the first one in 2016, and it was such a craze that I remember. Even I, I downloaded Pokemon Go to my phone, and there was a a um, an area in downtown Pensacola. And they, uh, I think it was, I don't know if it was a gym or if it was just like a, a, a walkabout to find like Pokemon, but I remember going to this park and just walking around in circles and I was like surrounded by all these other people doing the same thing. It was really bizarre. It was really bizarre that like the entire, um, uh, population of the United States was somehow ushered outside to interact with each other at like the peak of, of, um, like the anti-social political, uh, game that was going on and unfolding at the time it was it was pretty surreal um anyways the point when you made your character because it was a, a video game you would pick either male or, you know what's weird is that the super chats don't stick on the um on the overlay but like the, they do stick on my browser wow that's really fucking annoying I'm sorry for people whose messages aren't sticking. I'll fix that later. Anyways, um, you, you pick a, a, a gender, male or female. And, of course, it is now current year. Nothing can have a uh, male or female attribute. So, uh, to fix that, you now get a gender-neutral blob. And you literally just resize, like, various body parts. So, you can go for, like, the most amorphous blob-looking avatar ever created. Whenever I, um... Whenever I, I think of shit like this, I think of the internal communications. I think it was leaked by the guys that do the Silent Hill games. I can't remember. Their, it's the it's the game company that Jim Sterling really, 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 really hates. Konami? I think it was Konami. Konami had, like, internal memos leaked. And it was like, um, uh, American audience does not want uh, male or female. American audience wants to make ugly characters. Americans really enjoy making ugly characters. So that that's how the that's how like the Japanese like in their official like sensitivity training for like the American market, it says what America want is not male or female and pretty character. They want ugly dumpster garbage bag character. And so the, I think that this is actually literally um oh well, it might be Pal World. I can't remember who the fuck it was. This this sentence though that Americans want ugly characters is like burned into my brain, and you can really see that this is like um, a manifestation of this. This person's complaining that their character looks like a lesbian. Um, this person says removing butts in certain combinations of clothing break the model. To not to update, you can see like the the triangles are like piercing through, so she has like no inside. <laughs> Um, I know you guys put a lot of time and effort into this avatar update, so I just wanted to take a moment to say you did a really shit job. <laughs> if you're going to go out and buy positive comments, try to put more effort than you did with the avatars. Salman Ali says, Finer, um, finally a chance to make our avatars as unique as our Pokemon. Sparkly emoji, shoe emoji. Got to catch them all with your own personalized Pokemon Go avatar. Talk about trainer goals. Ekrem Hossein. Listen, none of these fucking people from Algeria would ever say this shit about this dumpster ass fucking avatar shit. Wow, good initiative for the avatar. Keep going. Good job. So please go and must watch. It's a beautiful show. And then this guy who literally has a Pakistan flag named Saddam Awid says, That's fantastic news. Being able to personalize your avatar even more will surely make the Pokemon Go experience even more immersive and enjoyable. I really, really, one of the great tells of these super positive comments and how they're super authentic is that um, they all went the extra mile to find the, um, the Spanish E with the little hat on it. And insert it. They also made sure to capitalize the the word Pokemon and Go 
like in the stylistic choices of Niantic to make sure that the Pokemon Go brand is exactly as they prefer in their advertising media. That's exactly how when I type Pokemon on a phone or something, I always go the extra mile to add the little E with the hat and to capitalize Go as two capital letters so that everyone knows that I'm like truly committed to the product. That's uh, how it works. That's how people talk to each other. Um, no one asked for this, revert it. I, I'm kind of curious what exactly about this change um, pisses this guy off. I guess the, the thigh is like completely, that's like a man's thigh. That's like a guy with like a, a, like a tuck going on. I can, I can definitely see that. Um, maybe it's the skin color. He's like, I like, I, now I just look like I'm ashy gray. Like I'm a, like I'm half black. I no longer look like I'm Mexican. My indigenous pride has been destroyed. Uh, corporate asks you to find the difference between these two photos. I don't know what the picture on the right is, but it's really ugly. And then there's a guy who's just like melted. Meerkat complains, revert it. Revert, go back, delete, go fast ticket, maybe waste it, because I'm not going if my avatar remains weird as fuck. This lady does not feel represented by this male avatar. More like me? The old body looked way more like me than these long torso, no tip having, diaper wearing things. Oh, they, they say that the characters look like they're wearing diapers, because, like, I can kind of see it, actually. I can kind of see how it, the one on the right does look like the one on the left if she was, like, wearing diapers. She has the pins. She's incontinent. Um, disable this. I don't want to even open up my app, app now. My avatar looks horrible. Whoever agreed to these changes should be fired. I'm deleting the app for this nonsense. <laughs> Torso, arm length, and hand size are not okay. Because they're men. They went with the male avatar. The, for the, the dimensions and shit. That's why the, the girls are, like, freaking out. Oh, here's Liko with the tranny flag at Trans Liko. They look fine. Calm down. 24. Oh, my God. That ratio. That's a, that's literally an infinite ratio. 24 replies, zero retweets, zero likes to Trans Liko, who's getting blown the fuck out on the neo-Nazi website, formerly known as Twitter. <laughs> um... Who suggested these changes and why? Why were the small indents to the hip suggested also? It was like men's. Why not add more variation? Um, I think they removed beards. I can't remember. I think facial hair was completely removed or something because it was like offensive to trainees. <laughs> That's actually a really funny comparison. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.